So hi, today in this video I want to show you how to charge a solar battery without having a solar panel. So sometimes you may not have a solar panel like this one here, or maybe you may have a solar panel and there is no enough sunlight because there is a lot of clouds or rain for any for whatever reason that you don't have a solar panel and you want to charge your battery without a solar panel. So today's this video, I'm going to show you how to charge a, a solar battery without a solar panel by using, by using this piece of transformer here that you got from an old inverter. So I'm going to show you how to connect this transformer to the battery so that you can charge your, you can charge your solar batteries without having a solar panel. So let's get into the video. Okay, so before we design our electrical circuit, you need first of all to understand how much power do we need from our transformer to make a circuit that will charge your battery. So you have to make an electrical circuit that produces around 40 watts. And you can see it here, the specification of this solar panel here. It produces around open, open circuit voltage around 22 volts. You can pause the video and, and read it for yourself and around 2.2 amperes. So I have to make sure that we are not produce, we are not making a circuit that produce a lot of power that can destroy a battery. Just enough power that, so that you can charge your battery safely without overheating everything. So depending on, on your ability, you can find different design and the size of transformer. So you can see here, there is this one small transformer here, medium size transformer here and this large toroidal transformer that you see it here but for this project i'm going to use this large transformer because this small transformer here tended to overheat very quickly because they are not powerful enough to charge these big batteries that you see here and also this big transformer here gives us advantage that so that you can charge also even bigger batteries depending on the kind of, of resistor that you will will put to limit the current but this small transformer here will just overheat very quickly and they may burn out very quickly because you can just you're just overloading them for connecting them to those big batteries so let's use this big transformer here to radio transformer here i'm going to connect it to the outlet of an electrical main power supply and it will connect the output to the rest of circuit as i will show you later so remember to apply some electric tape electric seal tape around your wires in order to prevent electric shocks and to prevent the wire from touching each other okay so right now we have already connect your transformer to our main power supply and you can see it here it produces a lot of power. So this one here is a center tap transformer, whereby there are three wires output. So this red one here and this one here are the one where you get a lot high high voltage. So you want to identify the center tap of transformer. Just take a multimeter and start to measure the voltage. So the first center type of transformer. So you can see it here. The black one and the blue one produce an output voltage of around 22.5 volts. And a black one and this red one here produce an output voltage of around 20 of around 11 volts. So you understand that this one here is a center tap transformer with the red being our center tap because even if we try to measure it from the blue and the red one we'll get around 11 volts the same so here is where we'll get a lot of power that's the black wire and the red wire so okay so after connecting our transformer to the outlet of our main power supply there are some components that i forgot to tell you that are really really important for our project and one of them the first one is this solar power charger controller here 
you must have a solar power charger controller to have a safe circuit system so that you can know when your battery is full charged or it's not full charged also this solar power controller helps to limit excess amount of current that might destroy your battery another important component that you're going to need is a resistor or a light bulb like this one here this one here is a 12 volt lamp that that is used in a motorcycle you can get it for a very cheap price it's a 60 watts 12 volt a lamp that will make sure that we get around 60 watts from our transformer so transformer here is ready to provide 150 watts we don't need all of that power to charge these batteries so we are going to use this as our resistor to limit the amount of current that enter into our battery another important component is a multimeter to check the circuit voltage and to give you direction on what to do and another final important component of all is this full wave rectifier here this one here is a full bridge rectifier it consists of four diodes arranged in a certain configuration and a capacitor I will not go into much detail about full wave rectifier circuit but I'll put a link in the description so that you can learn the importance of this part in your circuit. This is really important part of all because it helps to convert that alternating current that comes from our transformer into direct current that can be used to charge our battery. And the direct current is the one that is produced from the solar panel. And if you don't have a direct current, you cannot charge our solar battery. So make sure that you read in the description and check how this circuit is formed. There are a lot of videos online on how to make a, a full wave rectifier. So go check it them out and then you can know how to proceed. You will check them later. So so right now we have already arranged, we have already connected our diodes, our full bridge rectifier to the transformer, and then now we are converting AC into DC current. So let's switch our multimeter into a DC mode, measure the DC voltage that we get from our full wave bridge rectifier. So let's try to measure how much voltage you're now getting. You can see there we're getting around 15 volts when we try to connect into our center trap of our transformer. So you can see that 15 volts is not, is not enough to charge our battery. We are going to need 22 volts, around 22 volts. So just disconnect the center tap of your of your transformer and connect it to the full type. So that you can get the full power, you can get the full voltage that you need to charge your battery. So I've switched my wiring and now let's try to measure how much voltage you're now getting. You can see that you're getting around the 30 volts. It's not very bad and it's not harmful for our batteries because this current is not that stable and it might drop a little bit after connected to the battery so with our 30 volts that we get from our output of our rectifier circuit we are going to connect it to the charger controller so right here we've got the charger controller and you can see it here there is a side for a battery a side for a solar panel and a side for battery so we're going to connect this input to the input of our solar panel so you can see here i've i've just connected the solar controller to my battery to see how much power it has and i i, I saw that there is very little power on it so i decided that I, it's time to charge my battery so I connected the positive output of my rectifier circuit to the positive side of my battery as the negative output of my rectifier circuit to the negative side of the battery in order to charge my battery. 
You can see it here. I didn't use this lamp or this resistor because I, 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 I found that there is not a lot of heat that is produced from the transformer in the rectifier circuit. But if I saw that there is a lot of heat, I will put it in series with my rectifier circuit in order to reduce the amount of power that enter into my battery. But for now, I've just let all of the power to enter my battery because it's completely discharged. So that's it guys, you can see that this circuit is not that easy as you, you have, as you, you can think, it's not that easy, but I don't recommend this kind of circuit configuration to charge your solar battery. In fact, it's very much easier to use a solar panel to charge your solar battery instead of making a rectifier circuit by, by yourself. And if you think that a solar panel is expensive or maybe you don't have a solar panel because maybe you, you think that you can just charge it from your DIY transformer it's not i don't recommend this to do it in the long run you can destroy your battery and you should get a solar panel in fact they are very cheap compared to this transformer and a lot of complications that will go around so just buy a solar panel it's very cheap compared to this bunch of shit here so subscribe see you